Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. We are back again with some more Destiny 2. It's time for yet another weekly update. Our This Week of Bungie for today will be for April the 16th. It's also the last one before we get ready for Guardian Games 2020. The very first inaugural games kicks off at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, 10 a.m. Pacific on the weekly reset this Tuesday, April 21st, as the Titans, Hunters, and Warlocks will compete to prove which class is the most dedicated in Destiny 2. But before the games officially begin... There's a quick little trailer that you just saw earlier this morning, and for those of you that missed it, let's show it to you guys one more time. Enjoy. Welcome to the Guardian Games. These games are Zavala's way of bringing us all together to celebrate. Enjoy the games, my friend. You deserve it. So the three-week event begins this Tuesday on the Weekly Reset. So, how does Guardian Games work? Well, in case you missed it on the previous video, and if you guys are new to, the, to this uh, event for the first time, let's tell you all about it. So your entry in the in the uh, in the competition, excuse me, begins with a visit to Eva Levante. Now, each Guardian is going to receive a class item to adorn while taking part in the competition. And there's three different medals, bronze, silver, and gold, just like the Olympics. They'll be available to earn daily, and each of those will focus on the specific game modes. Now, to earn medals, you'll need to equip your new class item, defeat the enemies, pick up laurels on the battlefield, and advance your quest for the medals that you desire. This is what the tower is going to look like starting this Tuesday. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Just just finished a nice dinner, like the uh, chicken and fries that I have for dinner. So that's actually a nice dinner. Uh, we uh, we fully acknowledge that class populations are a little lopsided. <laughs> I, I know they're a little rubbing it in right there. Hunters are fabulous with the capes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to get into more information on this paragraph here. But let's just, let's just continue on right here. With those class items at daily reset, the cloak, mark, or bond... Hunter, Warlock, or Titan will update to reflect what placement that your team has taken. So, for example, if Titans won the Guardian Games on day one, their mark will be updated with a gold sigil, meaning they're in first place right now. Now, if the Warlock came in second, they get the Silver Bond, and Hunters that came in third will get the Bronze Cloak. Get the idea? So, here's a look. Starting off with this first picture here. There you see the three colors, Bronze over here, silver and gold here's your next set right here that's the i'm pretty sure that's the titan mark and there's the bonds for the warlock there's your three sets and i believe these are i think they're sparrows but i could be wrong though although we show you the th three class items but i'm gonna guess those are probably sparrows but anyway uh moving on for the ultimate prize, at the end of the event, your daily placements will be combined for a final score. Now, on your team standings, your class items will be locked to their respective uh, placements for the remainder of the year. So, that's the end of 2020. Excuse me. Also, for more ways to represent your class, Eva's got you covered for the next three weeks. So, each week, you'll be offered a free quest to earn an exotic ghost shell, one theme to each Guardian class. You'll need to complete the quest every week to collect all three. So there's going to be three weekly quests, and the first one goes live this Tuesday. So here's a look at all three exotic ghosts that you'll be getting. The snake one right here, I'm pretty sure that's for the hunter. The lion one right here is for the titan. And the, uh, I'm pretty sure that's the hawk one over here, or the dawn blade. That one will be most likely for the warlock. Just showing you a quick little example. But <clears throat> you can easily get all three ghosts on all three characters. But that's not all. An exotic heavy machine gun that you saw in the trailer called Hair Apparent will become available during the event. So, I wonder what this tool, Mass Destruction, will expire once you get it in your hands. That's going to be a lot of fun. Also, Eververse is going to have some items in store for the event, which will include a single finisher that's available for silver only, though, while the other items will be purchased with bright dust as they appear on the storefront. And of course, all Guardian games will have daily daily bounties along with the weekly repeat, repeatable bounties 
They'll also grant Bright Dust to match the previous seasonal events. Of course, Guardian Games goes live this Tuesday. Don't you dare miss it. And you'll have to launch your game a little bit early to grab the required update 2.8.1, which could potentially be the last update for Season 10 before Season 11 kicks off in June. Now, one other mention before we go, um, the Guardian's Heart update. Now, the Guardian's Heart Charity Initiative stream has already generated over $450,000. That's almost half a million dollars for the relief efforts in the face of this deadly pandemic that's going on called the coronavirus or COVID-19. For those of you that were not up to, the, to date on this information, this fundraising effort has been partnered. Of course, uh, Bungie is partnering with Direct Relief, who will work with a network of, of providers across the globe to deliver the supplies that health work, work, uh, healthcare workers need. This will include the following, personal protective equipment, gloves, masks, gowns, face shields, and so on. For the hospitals, they will work, <clears throat> they'll also be working with the food covers that they'll receive, along with prescription medication, portable oxygen, oxygen concentrators, ventilators, and other intensive care unit equipment. Now, any donation of $20 or more will be giving you the exclusive Guardian's Heart emblem. So this is definitely not too late to get your hands on the emblem. All you have to do is just donate $20 or more, and you get the emblem. If you want to know how to do it, there's the website on the bottom left corner of your screen. It is www.tiltify.com slash plus bungee dash community slash guardians dash heart and of course these will be distributed by bungie within a week of your donation and also to help with raise awareness and share some of the community action we're also in a series of bungie bounties for as long as this fundraising initiative lasts so hopefully maybe a couple of months and i'm with you guys all the way i really want this pandemic to end hopefully by june but i know there's others mentioning that it could last up to two years I know, that's devastating. Now, this will not be restricted to North American Guardians. This is going to be a worldwide effort. So, there's going to be some international bounties for you to chase, too. And they're also going to be getting some final details for the full calendar. So, we're going to find out what you're going to be chasing for over the next week. And finally, they're also going to be partnering, partnering with Guardians around the world to host a variety of Destiny streamers that will feature the, the following, like raid challenges, dungeon runs, 100k Nightfall Ordeals, Gambit, Crucible, Iron Banner, and so on. So if you want to show some support and host a stream for the initiative, there's the website here. And you can follow them on Twitter. The website, oh, oh there you go. Uh, it's twitter.com slash gibsonfilms slash status slash the rest. And of course, you can follow Bungie on Twitter at Bungie for further announcements. And of course, one more thing before we go, as mentioned there's a couple of things that are coming up on Tuesday, too, that they did not mention. The brand new Nightfall Ordeal difficulty called the Grandmaster difficulty comes out on Tuesday also. It starts at 1 o'clock Eastern Time. Contest mode will be activated. Pretty sure they've lowered the power, power cap to 1050, but contest mode is operational. You'll need to be at least 1025 to attempt this difficulty. And update 2.8.1 will also come out on that same day. And that officially puts a wrap on the video. Thank you very much for watching this, everybody. Good luck to all Guardians taking part in the first ever inaugural Guardian Games 2020. Who's going to win? Hunter, Titan, or Warlock? And as a matter of fact, you only have to tell me on the comment section. I have, I have a poll on my channel right now that you can definitely check out as of right now. Thank you for joining us. Take care.